Yo, what's up guys, Calvin here, and today we're gonna be looking at 10 shocking science and history facts you didn't learn at school. So this might be a very, very interesting video. At school, you might be learning some history or some science, right? But teachers might be leaving you some important or very, very interesting stuff that you never learned. So today I'm gonna give you some important or interesting knowledge that might blow your mind, all right? So yeah, be sure to get this video a thumbs up right now. Let's get this video to 700 likes. Only take three seconds to get this video a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So yeah, let's get started with the first show. So do you know which organism live the longest? So we're gonna look at from the shortest life to the longest life. So the shortest life organism is a mayfly, which kind of like a butterfly, and it only live for one day. That's very, very sad. What will you do if you only live for one day? I will probably like ask my crush out, and then if she say yes, I'll probably kiss her, and then I can die happily for just one day. You can, you can only live on Earth for just one day. Yeah, it sucks, but yeah. A fly can live for seven days. If a fly is in my room, he can probably only live for like five minutes. I don't like flies, okay? I will smack it. A honeybee can live for four weeks, which is not that bad. A bed bug can live for six months. Ugh, oh my god. So a bed bug that live in your bed, it can live for half a year. Think about that, that's disgusting. A octopus can live for three years a rabbit can live for 12 years a lion can live for 20 years this picture reminded me of lion king man i love the movie a rhino can live for 40 years an elephant can live for 80 years think about think about it elephant is huge an elephant can live for 80 years a japanese spider crab can live for one hundred years there's only few humans that can live for a hundred years a japanese battle crab can live for 100 years what will you do if you can live for 100 years you'll be pretty bored right the next organism can live for 200 years that is a bowhead whale this bowhead whale can live for 200 years holy crap if you think about it you'll be living on earth for 200 years this bow will will probably live the day to see iPhone 200. Okay, yeah, it gonna be amazing. There's another organism that technically can live forever. Can you guys give it a guess? If you can't, let's reveal the answer. It is a Tartricula jellyfish. I don't know how to pronounce it. Nutricula, I think Nutricula jellyfish. The only living thing on Earth that lives forever you heard right lives forever basically you're immortal you never die on earth and next we're gonna look at some facts about history okay so back then we don't have any smartphones or any alarm clock to wake ourselves up so how does people back in old days get up early to go to work well they use a lady with a stick and the stick have a pea in it. The lady will usually go around the house and shoot peas at the window and it'll wake other people up. Yeah, that's basically the old way of alarm clock. Okay, here's another interesting fact that school might not teach you. Okay, if you look at your veins, okay, and they are blue, right? And a lot of people think that our blood is blue. And when you cut the blood open, when the blood contact the oxygen, it turns red which is not true okay our blood is actually red when you cut it open it is red when it's inside the vein it is red the reason that you see your veins blue is because the way the sunlight hits our skin it only reflect blue light that's why when you see our veins it is blue but if you look at albino person a sense an albino person doesn't have a skin pigment when the sunlight hits his vein is actually red that's why the blood is red so don't think that when you look at the uh, vein on your arm you think the bl uh, blood is actually blue it is not blue it is red inside okay so yeah that's an interesting fact you probably heard of a person called hitler right he's the leader of the germany and you know the nazi sign people think is a very bad sign well actually this is a good luck sign back in the ancient time. Countries like India, China, Japan consider this sign a very very good luck sign until 
Germany started using this sign and people think this is a very very bad sign so yeah you can blame Hitler for this you probably studied civil war at school and you might heard of a general called General Hooker he is a commander in the civil war and he famously brought a lot of girls with him when he went to the war to keep them busy because of this general we have a slang word called prostitute thanks to him we call girls that love women hookers and yep that's where the word hooker come from because of general hooker you probably heard of a famous person called benjamin franklin and he is one of the founding fathers of america and one less known fact about benjamin franklin yes he invented the rocking chair so yeah every time you sit in a chair you can rock back and forth thanks to him he invented that thing. That's amazing, right? I never knew that Benjamin Franklin actually invented the rocking chair. I only know that he's the one of the founding fathers and he is also on the $100 bill. When I first came to America, I thought Benjamin Franklin was like the president of some United States or something. Don't ever tell people that my favorite president is Benjamin Franklin, okay? He was not the president. Another shocking fact that school might never teach you is a book called The Wreck of the Titan. In 1898, Morgan Robertson wrote a book about a huge ship that is unsinkable and it hit an iceberg and suddenly sink into the ocean. And 14 years later, a ship called Titanic actually happened with same circumstance. I just want to throw this fact in there because it was very very interesting. A book basically predicted the future with similar events. Think about it, that's amazing, right? I think schools should teach this kind of stuff because it's really interesting, just like history. Everyone probably heard of a person called Albert Einstein, and here's a myth that school never teach you. Everybody think that Albert Einstein failed math many, many times at school. Albert Einstein is actually a genius at math. When he was age 30, he actually mastered calculus and algebra easily. But don't ever think like Albert Einstein failed math and he is a physics genius. Well, he is actually really good at math, really good at science, and basically really good at everything that you do. You just cannot beat Albert Einstein. Alright, let's look at another interesting science fact. Okay, so on the year of 2017, Earth basically looked like this. If an asteroid hit Earth that have the ability to destroy humanity, like a gigantic asteroid collided with Earth, few years later, Earth will probably look like this. That is why there's a person named Elon Musk. He is trying to save humanity. He is trying to make hum humanity a multi planetary civilization that's why Elon Musk founded a space company called SpaceX and trying to send people to Mars so pe so humans can become multi planetary species so maybe an asteroid that might hit earth well it won't destroy all the humans because there's other people at Mars okay actually matter of fact on 2004 there's an asteroid that almost hit earth. I don't know if you guys remember on the news, right, but on 2004, an asteroid barely passed by earth. If that asteroid actually hit earth, it will destroy a city, like New York City. Yeah, it will literally make it flat. So an asteroid can be very, very scary. So yeah, guys, this is about the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoy these science and history facts that were never taught in school. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up right now. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want more content of my video. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get notified on all my videos when I post them. So yeah, my name is Calvin Lee, and I'll see you guys next video.